All right, boys, we got a fucking crazy pod. Islam, Charles, and Volk all on the pod at the same time. This is a fire episode. We're out here in Abu Dhabi for the UFC fight. We're here supporting our boy, Sugar Sean, part of Team Happy Dad. Make sure you guys stock up on Happy Dad for the UFC fight this Saturday. You can go to happydad.com slash find to find a store near you that carries Happy Dad. On fight night, if you're drinking Happy Dad, tag us on Instagram, at Happy Dad, because we're gonna be reposting a ton of people. So tag us, crush some Happy Dads, boys. Fight night, I am fucking fired up. This card is amazing. Also, I just wanna say, we're fucking so blessed to be able to come to Abu Dhabi and like be able to go to the UFC fights and shit. And I wanna say too, none of us are MMA experts. Like my opinion on MMA is like as valued as like a fucking homeless man's on the street, all right? Like I don't know, I'm just a fan just like you guys. So don't take our opinions too seriously. Don't all the MMA fans sometimes get fucking triggered and shit. Just relax. But this is really a cool opportunity for us. So let's get into the pod. Fuck, this might be the this might be the worst i don't how does it look on camera or are we just boosting it does it look good on camera is it Not live bad. What? what is this live on twitch oh we're live oh, on twitch it actually you, it was part Yo! of the ufc deal oh my god i didn't yeah. know this was happening are we are we actually live though <laughs> yes bro okay uh so we gotta address what's happening here uh, yeah, i don't man. know if you guys could tell but this might be the worst fucking podcast setup of all time but to be fair, we're we're across the entire country in a you know the, the, the whole world in a different place. Like so, we've we've uh, we've got it together. We've done better though. Oh, it Croatia. doesn't look that bad. Oh, it actually okay, we're dope. good. But we're uh, we're officially in Abu Dhabi. Yes. No, this one's gonna be cool though. We got a bunch of uh, we got some fighters coming on. We got Islam. We got uh, Bam Bam. Yeah. And I'm hopefully going. Sugar Sean. That'd be amazing. But their schedules today. They sent me their schedules. It's fucking crazy. I mean, uh, I guess this is kind of fitting, right? Like all all those guys are just pretty like fucking, they they just fucking rugged. So which is like the most rugged setup, makes sense. We had to do this one too because they're all all the fighters are cutting weight right now too. Like Sugar told me he hasn't eaten carbs in four days. I told you guys. Dude, so they're they're gonna be a little bit loopy on edge too, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah. Damn, we should have did it downstairs. We could have done it downstairs. They would have been like, if they see their opponent walk by, they would have been fucking pissed. That I know. Dope. Too bad. Why well, she said no? No, I mean I guess we could have, but the, the set, set it up here. Crazy. Yeah, set yeah, yeah, too yeah, crazy. <sighs> but you're like a big fucking. You're a big Islam fan. Big, a big Islam fan. I you're really love that fan. guy. What do you like about him so much? Um, I don't know. Everyone says he's like the next Khabib, but I think his style is so different. I just got into the UFC obviously like two years ago, but I don't know. I just like how composed he is. He literally tells his opponents what he's gonna do, does it. 10 fight win streak. I just want him to win. And but, he's Muslim too. But do you think he's going to do it against Charles? I think so. I think it'll be a little tougher, but I think he'll get the job done. Just because of the style of wrestling? Yeah, 100%. You guys should comment too, because this is probably going to go up on a Thursday. Yeah. So comment. Comment who you guys got. I want to know, man. Yeah, well, you, I have put a, a, you, you have a big bet on Sean. I put 50K. That's 50K a, oh, on wow. sugar on steak. <laughs> Huge payout. Massive payout. What's the payout on that? Yeah. Well, he's the underdog. It's times three, 150. It's like, it was like 3.3x. Yeah. Wow. He's a big underdog in that yeah. fight, man. You're a numbers guy. You don't care about your friends <laughs> I'm and definitely shit. A number, I'm definitely a numbers guy. You're right. But I, I, I'm, I believe Fuck in Sean. Fuck your friend for a hundy. Definitely not. Uh, I believe in Sean 100%. I mean, Put your money where your thing. mouth is. I'll bet on it. It's fine. How much? 10K. Hey, I want to see that fucking slip. Cool. Let's bet. You want to bet? You no, I'm bet? not betting against you're, you. You're a numbers guy. I'm going to no? take him too, but I want to see you take that bet. No, I'll take the bet for real. And show the slip. Um, I'll just do it. Where's my thousand? Well, that's not part of the bet. <laughs> okay. But the thing, the thing we were talking, we we because we went early to the gym, which you missed out on, because you I don't know if you. You don't guys like went at five a.m., bro. We did. Um, we were talking about this. Like, this is his moment for Sean. If he like crushes his fights, he's like. I mean, what? everyone's everyone's counting him out, right? Yeah. Which, which obviously it's it's crazy because yeah, Peter Yan is a fucking he's an a animal. he's a savage. An animal. This he's is no a true joke. test. It's a sure. true test for him, man. So like, we're really gonna find out how good Sugar Sean really is, yeah. right? Yeah. I'm excited, man. But I think a lot of people are counting him out too, right? Like he's he's won 15 fights, so many knockouts. Yeah, but he fight he has mm. fought a lot of scrubs. That's what that's facts. That's that's for sure that that that's what they're gonna say. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, this is definitely is this is like a massive, massive test. Like yeah. he's fighting. Is he is Peter Yan the number one? He's, he's number, number one, one right now. In yes. Yeah. 
Who's Sugar's biggest opponent he's fought up to this point? Uh, Chito. Probably Chito Vera. Yeah. I'd say that. Yeah. yeah. So, so, it's, I mean, from here, it's like, and if I, he has like a true, if he has a true, like, title shot, it's insane. I like Oliveira, bro. I do. And I, I, just because he's beat Poirier, Michael Chandler, and uh, who's the other big name he fought recently, Slim? He fought Justin Gaethje. 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 So, I mean. It's not really, but they're but all. Those are like three stri- big dubs. Though, what he's, it's a different style, but either way. No, they're all strikers. I mean, they don't really want to go to the ground with him. I don't think Islam's going to be scared of that. Like, you know what I mean? I, know. Ground game. I think he's you gonna know go funny? for the ground. Two years ago, we were here watching. Uh, two years ago, like today, was Khabib Gaethje. That's what's fucked. Yeah, I was looking at Snapchat. Two years ago was yeah, exactly two years ago was the Abu Dhabi That's trip. Insane. The first time we came here. That's insane. It's crazy. Khabib how that Gaethje lines up. Bam was on that card, and I can't remember who else, but it was fucking lit. It'll be interesting to see what the audience is like here compared to Vegas. Thirteen thousand people. Like you it's think small. it's a turn up yeah, audience or small. no? Yeah. It's not a yeah. You mean you think they're gonna get lit? You think they like get wild, or it's more of like a very like just no. dude. The, fir- dude, the first time we came here, everyone's like, "You can't drink here. You can't fucking like." Yeah, we were fucked up the whole time. And there was everyone else drinking too. Everyone's drinking here. Yeah, yeah. People. I mean, I there's assume- a swim up bar at our fucking hotel. This is my first time in Abu Dhabi. I've been to Dubai before years ago, but I've never actually been to Abu Dhabi. But I wonder, like, you're right. What is the crowd gonna be like? Are they gonna be like? I think it's gonna be more respect. Not not quite like Vegas. How was your guys' flights over? Sixteen hour flight. I felt amazing. I felt incredible. I slept pretty good. I slept 12 hours. I think Steiny. Um, One of the best sleeps of my life, honestly. Yeah, we, no, honestly, we were vibing. Yeah? I got up once to go to the bar. There was like a bar in the back. And I was like a lounger. And there's some girls. And I got up and I saw Kyle passed out like a baby, like sleeping. Bro, like I was out. Out. And then I went to the back. I like, there was some, you know, some things. I was having some conversations back there, eating like some like loaf bread with like it was like a lemon cake. They were you guys had wagyu up there. I heard a lot of stuff. Yeah, Lamb stuff like chops, surf and turf up in that yeah. bitch. Yeah, there was like <laughs> shrimp. Yeah. Have you ever heard of Tostitos pizzas? Um, I actually yeah. Gabe, Gabe took half my Tostitos. I was being a good friend, but that's what we got in the back. Is that actually yeah. what happened? Yeah. Yeah, but it was nice. But it was you didn't get the whole pie. It was take the pie, take a slice, and then pass it to your neighbor type deal. Oh, pass yeah, it that's to your how neighbor. we got treated back there. No, nice. you don't you don't eat that much though. No, it wasn't back I mean, there. It was like there was two levels. No, 62, seat 62. It was no, but, pretty much as far back as you could go. But they had two levels. Apparently, like, the, the other levels were up here and the other levels were down here. Yeah, it was like people <laughs> that... Straight no, up. it was. People that think they're the best podcast hosts in the world, then, like, <laughs> cool, pretty cool people, and then just fucking, yo, you're a fucking peasant. Like, I, I, one of the first days I met Brad was when we were in Vegas. You'll remember this. But Celine was just sitting there eating, and he goes to the bathroom, and Brad took his seat. <laughs> Do you oh, that? fuck. <laughs> That was so <laughs> fucked up. That was fucked. Wait, wait, wait. Like remind me again. That remind was me again. Fucked. We're we're at the Hard Rock. <laughs> that was fucked. I can't remember what for. Oh, right the- oh yeah, 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 man, dude, that was. <laughs> that was no reason. Fucked. Life was hit me right there, bro. He was like, we're like, yo, Salim's sitting there. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Waiter comes over. You know, knows, that's what I realized. It's on Elk's tab. I want the surf and turf. You come back, and he's like, you're like, hey, man, I was sitting here. He's like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> There's eight open seats down. Down the fucking table. I, remember I don't the, remember it just, exactly. Can you explain like that. that to me? Why do you do something like that? I don't that? remember it exactly that way. I remember it f- for the rest of my life because I was like, Jesus Damn, Christ, bro, I gotta be got careful you. how I, I act. It's happening to you too, right? Yeah. It's you, but yeah I've gotten some neck grabs, some chokes. Yeah, but nothing, you deserve them though. Nothing that we shit. can yet sue for, but you can't, we're you trying can't to get a target as a bully. <laughs> You're an idiot. Yeah, I guess. I've never gotten bullied by Brad. It's coming. You just can't be a target. Well, you do like really fuck shit. You do. Okay, like what? Do bro? you want me to just go down the list of shit you've done in Miami and like, should we just go over that? I mean, maybe text them, text them to me first. <laughs> yeah, you want to let you know so you can verify them? <laughs> Yo. Oh, God, it's so funny, yeah. man. Oh, shit. I'm actually really excited to talk to these guys. Yeah. Are we live still? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, bro, we're live. What do you mean? Oh, I'm just asking. Yeah. What do you on got? Twitch. Come on. It's live, live stream here. Put this nah, it's up right there. That's no. where we got the cords. So, yo, I got to be oh, honest. Go something ahead. Something about this. Should I read the chat? We should probably read the chat, right? Yeah, let's read the chat. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, want to read the chat. Go. Let's, hear, let's see what you can do with everything. Everything's tiny. <laughs> yeah, read the chat. Check the chat. <laughs> Y'all's guys <are> loving this. <laughs> I mean, I could probably read some comments. Wait, How do you read the comments? This actually live, is it? Realistically. <laughs> How do you, where do you Wait, go? is this actually live on Twitch? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. bro. What the fuck? You thought he was kidding? How do you read the chat? Jesus. Everyone's saying go to Dubai, link with Tate. How did you look at that, bro? Where at? They're saying go to du- they're saying go to Dubai. We should do it. Really? Yeah. Let's just go. Tate's man. in Dubai. Tate's in Dubai. Get Steiny off the pod. Tate's in Dubai. 
I see. I always see a lot of get Steinies off. What's get up with that? Get Steiny off the pod. Bro, how do you see this shit, bro? Oh, that's just. I'm just. Yeah. Oh okay. Oh whoa. Get Steiny off. Replace Steiny. Yeah, it's like show, it's like how do they replace? Really good. How do you re- how do you replace a well, fucking great like an A list comedian, bro? Well, the thing is, like, replace me. The like, show would be really good if it was me. You. I'm already here. It's like weird. It can't be two of me. Is that, has that shit been annoying you at all? Steiny. No, because I I do get a lot of personal like to, on my page a lot of love. Oh, here's like, one, bro. Here's you're one, fucking here's funny. Here's one you'll so. like. Steiny and Brad remind me of a dad and a son vibe, but in a funny way. A unique duo. I love it. Yeah. Two uh, K likes. I saw that one. Gang, on the way Look, up. You do the I don't hate you, voice? dude. I, I love you. I just huh? like to talk shit. There's always got to be someone that they're they're going to be commenting about, right? I know. Let's yeah. switch. I'm going to get that switch to you. I don't know it how. I don't think it can. I'm going to turn you into the villain. The I promise I, I you. I paid my dues for about two years with Mr. Steve. Well, I also had to get hated on by Steve. You think that helped my cause? But Being you, hated by Steve will do it, bro. Bro, he didn't. He doesn't. Motherfucker actually, calls me regularly. No well, one knows that. I think they're down, bro. Huh? That put me through two fucking months of depression. Really? Yeah. Damn. Let's talk about it. I, I don't want to do this no more. Let's you got to fucking it. chain like a Rolex, man. Relax, man. No, I don't wear any of that shit anymore. I have an oh, Apple of Watch. Of course not, because it's gone. Well, no, I got it at the crib, but I don't wear it. <laughs> Bro, did you see what... It's so funny you said the Apple Watch. Did you see what <laughs> Tate funny. said about the Apple Watch? What he said? Did he hate? So funny, yeah. Why? He said Apple watches are Apple, super convenient. Apple watches suck. Bro. No, because okay, it's like... Well, never had one. The time it takes Apple, you Apple, Apple, Apple watches are for losers, straight up. I think, personally. I think Apple watches are so fucking dumb. Did you have one? Yeah. For what Steve reason? gave it to Why me. do you need an Apple Watch? Steve gave it to me. I'm not even kidding. I don't know, but what, what purpose is an Apple Watch serve? For, like, if you're at the gym, you don't have to have your phone in your pocket. You can when just... are you at the fucking gym? I mean, you're always going to bring your phone, man. Yeah. No, but, like, you can have it in the locker so it's not in your pocket and you can play your music. Well, no one's really worried about that. I mean, you can wait, you have, wait, wait, wait. You have your pocket. phone in your locker and yeah. you play the music. So when the, doesn't the Bluetooth get fucked up when you're too far away? No, because it, it connects to your phone. Just fucking put your phone in, the, in your pocket or put it on the floor, you know? I don't know why you're hating against Apple Watch. No, I'm just curious. Apple Watch is. there's a reason why you're not fucking wearing it now. You know yeah, what I mean? You probably charged. think it's well, you do, too. Well, you do have to charge him. <laughs> easy, easy, easy. I know. It's so fucked. Feelings, like, no, fuck. All right, let's do fight predictions. Okay, I'm taking... Okay. Uh, all, all, all of us. Okay. I'm, I'm taking taking Islam. Okay. Taking Sugar. And then all who's right. the co-main? Al Jermaine and uh, DJ. Uh, TJ uh, Dillashaw. Dillashaw. Probably take Dillashaw. And then... I think that's probably what you guys will take, too. I'm going to say Islam, Sugar, <laughs> and Sterling. Yeah, I'm gonna say Islam as well, Aljo, and who's the third one? Sugar, sugar, and on. sugar, and pretty on. Bro, I want sugar to win, man. Take but it, I mean, if I would have put it on my, if I would have put on my life though, like, bro, Peter's, yeah. fuck, I'm so sorry, sugar, bro. But nah, fuck it, I'm gonna sugar. I'm Whoa, gonna, my heart, I'm gonna, I'm there. Sugar's, I think sugar's, I think sugar's, sugar's got this. Sugar's got a so sneaky bro. punch, just, sneaky jab. So hard to say. I'm going with uh, Oliveria. I think he's going to win. Yeah. I do love, I love Charles, bro. I do. Sugar. And. My problem with that, and I want to talk to Islam about finish it. finish my predictions? Sorry. No one was listening, but yeah. Sterling. Uh, Go ahead. My one thing with like guys like Oliveira is like, he's kind of already made it. Like when we, we ran into him at, what was the last fight we went to? What do you mean already made it? Like, I can't remember the last fight, but he's like swagged out. He's got a fire fit on, got his chains on. And. I feel like people with that mentality think they're already on top. Like Usman had that mentality, right? Like Steiny like, from yo, Miami, I already, that kind of dude, shit. Shut up. Sorry. Like, yo, I yeah, already. Like Aaron Steinberg, that's a good. That's no, a good one. but yo, do you know what yeah, I'm saying? Like, he already got there. Islam's like, those guys, Islam Khabib, never feel like they're, they've made it. So I see they, what you're saying. They take every fight like it's their first fight. I think Oliveira's like, I'm already that man. I don't know. I, don't I think, know. I think, I think this is a big test for both of them. And I think Oliveira is definitely taking it seriously. I, I don't disagree, but I think that. His mentality is a little different now than maybe if he fights. Yeah, him. I think Islam's gonna. Mo- I think he's gonna finish. I think honestly, think he's gonna finish him like in two or three rounds. Yeah, you think that for sure. I just, I don't know. It's just like, see, I'm all about. I'm. I love the super fights in the UFC. So I think this fight, yeah. it could go. It could go two different <clears throat> ways. Yeah. In, in my opinion, I know. Like, and I don't want to be disrespectful to Khabib, but I think that I think if Oliveira beats Islam like very decisively. But he has to beat him decisively, not like unanimous decision, like I think a finish. I think that, I don't know, I think that there's a chance Khabib might think about coming back yeah, yeah. to fuck him up. If I was Maybe. If I, yeah, if I was I think UFC. I think like a vicious knockout, if Oliveira like knocks Islam out or also submits him, which could be even worse. Yeah. I think that Khabib would think about coming back. 
And you said, it, and you said the, there'd be a lot of there'd be a lot of talk. Well, what'd you say about Connor when we were doing the stairs? I, I don't know. It seems I know Connor Connor's injured, but it seems like he's waiting for a big fight. Well, he was talking about so I think uh, Floyd. what's that? That's not gonna happen. But they did have those talks. That's not gonna happen. Yeah. Well, he's going up to Walter Way. You know that, right? Oh, really? He's yeah. been getting thick, mm-hmm. dude. There's a lot of accusations. No, I, I agree with Kyle too. Like if he, but to this, but, but if is Islam wins. The McGregor Islam, exactly. That that'd be a big storyline too, right? With the whole like, I think that's Khabib re- would be semi involved. I feel shit. like that's more realistic than the Khabib thing because Khabib said he's not going to fight. He's like just not going to fight. He's that kind of guy. Do you think he's? Remember we talked about this kind of before. Yeah. Do you think if he said I'm not going to do it, and I'm like, you I, know, I my mean, dad's a lot of fighters like, have said that, but I guess what's what's different with Khabib is like his religion and just everything, you know. I don't know. I don't think he'll. When when back. he says something, it seems like he means it. Exactly. I think McGregor. That's what I mean. You're saying uh, McGregor, right? So I think Khabib. McGregor's a better a better like. I don't play think he next. thinks of that though. I, I think McGregor. Everyone will come back if the bag is right, bro. Well, I, I don't think I don't think Khabib will come huh? back for a we'll bag. See. Period. Well, no, no. I'm saying I don't like. Yeah, I know Khabib said made it clear like, yo, I don't give a fuck. I'm not coming back. He's different. Though. I don't think he'll ever come. Yeah, back. Yeah, I agree with that. That's that's different though. I think the Connor play is I think probably Connor's a better coming play. back. I just think I, that's just my opinion. I've just always felt that, but maybe I'm wrong. Like maybe I'm completely wrong. Like if he smokes, maybe his boy, I'm just hoping he's coming for the honor. But I just think that like he's still training, he's still fit, he's still young, he's probably still in his prime. So I think if there's, you know, if Islam loses though, he'd have to lose decisively. I don't think that's gonna happen though. Like he's not gonna get fuck. You know what I mean? Like he's not gonna get submitted, bro. Like, do you really? Come on, he's not gonna bro. get submitted by all who. Yeah, you gotta understand too, like, bro. Like, there's been a lot of Islam fights where you're like, bro, this can go a long distance, but dude, he just finishes him so fast. It's like ridiculous. I don't so think he's gonna finish Charles like that. I think in two no, rounds. No, I don't. So I think Charles is his best we'll opponent see. for we'll sure. See. Like he's prepared. Charles, Charles is Charles, a madman, bro. Yeah, he is a madman for that. Watching it's him such a Poirier. good fucking fight. Yeah. I'm, I'm actually really excited. Yeah, this is a great fight. If I was a UFC, obviously I would want Oliver to win because of that Khabib thing. But if you think about it, man, like Islam is the truth, bro. Well, they're saying like, what's his not the next happen. contender, the Volkanovski dude? Yeah, Volkanovski. The back, he's the backup officially. Backup and whoever wins this With fight. Both, yeah. 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 He's a gangster, too. People should know, too, in no way are we fucking MMA experts in yeah, any no. way, shape, or yeah, form. Yeah, no. We're literally sure. just we're just fans, just like you guys. So our opinions are just as valid as fucking anyone's. Yeah, yeah huge we're, fan, huge fucking. Fan. People people get triggered too. I think when we 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 talk about like MMA and stuff like that too. Yeah, I'm no professional. But it's so technical. Like it's I know Luke sport. Luke Rockhold got like really pissed. Oh, you know what? At, at us talking about? Or yeah. You guys no. Talking? Uh, yeah. I think it was yeah. Like why is like full send. Like talking about MMA, why are they in, why are they involved with like MMA? Blah blah blah. You mean like your MMA guy or what we were saying? Like what you I think? Were I'm not sure. Maybe a bit of both. Well, that that you said that MMA guy you have is like knows his yeah. shit though. But for us, it's just like I mean I've been a fan of UFC for fucking like ten years. Yeah. So like I'm not claiming to have huge knowledge on it, but I mean I feel like we have a big audience too. So any eyeballs that we can bring yeah. to MMA and UFC only benefits course, the sport too. For the, fight. I think the same people excited. like he'll he'll complain about that and then he'll complain about fighter pay too you know what it's i mean like it's just one. yeah it's like pick one yeah but it's Whatever. interesting right who would Bottom win cool. bet- who would win between hasbula and we Steiny? already talked about this dude huh no hasbula let's talk about that hasbula is here yeah yeah he's with he was with islam yesterday i saw them like on the gram he goes to his training He's cornering him, isn't he? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Wait, 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 he wait. Is, yeah. He is wait, cornering what? him. He's cornering him, yeah. Hasbula's him cornering him. Well, you know he yeah. signed He signed a deal with the UFC. Yeah, but what do you think his bag is? Bro, it's probably, it's probably crazy. It's probably decent. Probably wait, he's one. actually cornering? Mm-hmm. What? Well, not, I mean, obviously, probably not seriously like that, but he'll be But there he's going to be there in he'll the corner. Bro, I want to see. I can't wait to see a front row. I'm just going to watch Hasbula cornering Islam. I'm not even going to watch the fight. Dude, if so. Like, Hasbula's just going to be like, ah! Just like so, screaming through the so, cage. And so if Islam wins, he's definitely in the cage going crazy. Yeah, yeah oh yeah, it's that's over. dope. Do you think he parties, Hasbula? No, they don't. How old is he? Nineteen. Oh, how do you know Hasbula doesn't? I that's, feel like he's the he's de- pretty religious. I though. feel like he's like the he's degenerate mostly. of the Dagestanis. He, he <laughs> no, could no, no, be. I mean, being at the club with Hasbula, like would Hasbula be probably just gets tanked and shit. No, 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 no. I don't think no? so. No? No. No, 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 no. I don't know. I don't know. No, I f- he's chill. I feel like Islam and Khabib probably roll with pretty religious people, don't they? A hundred percent, man. Yeah, he's. They're not doing that. I mean, he flexes, Hell's though. Hell's man. Hasbulla does flex. He does really flex. 
That boy stays on a PJ. Dude, you guys are like. That's I can see Hasbula being a little rascal. Yeah, no, a little feisty. I don't see it. I think I he's do. a normal guy. What do you how mean? He's he? always punching people and shit. And well, I mean, how old is he? Nineteen. Yeah. Nineteen years old. Twenty. Nineteen. Yeah, he's, he's my age. Yeah. yeah, I should fight him. No, Stein, that'll be a good matchup it's for a good you. Matchup, yeah. Yo, that's actually I a really good matchup. I really can't wait to meet Hasbula. Yeah. I'm really excited for that. That's dope. Has Dana said anything about that? Or yeah, he said, he said we can link with him. Oh, that's dope. Hello. Are you ready? Are you good? Yeah. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Islam in the house. How are you, bro? I am good. Doing oh, good? Yes, yes. bro? Damn. So it's, this is weight cut week too, right? Yes. This is hard week, hard couple days, but part of the game. How? how do- I'm not Charles Oliver. I have to cut <laughs> weight. <laughs> oh, he's got. Oh, because he misses weight. Yeah, last time he missed the weight. How do you guys cut weight? And then I, I see in some of the fighters' schedules. How do you like cut weight and have to do all this media shit as well? Is that like yeah. mentally tough? This is hard, but this is not my first main event. That's why I know this whole game. I have to drink today eight liters and do many many interview. How long did you cut water before today? Uh, cut what? You cut water, cut weight. I have to cut like six more kilo. And uh, today I'm going to drink eight liter, tomorrow six. And that's it. Thursday. Are you tired? Not so tired, but I'm not training hard. No, no. Just, just diet. Make me a little bit tired. How different is it when you when you when you carve up, you drink the water, like, and you show up on fight day? How different do you feel? Do you feel like completely energized? No, this you know this is just everything is gonna finish Monday when I eat some burger. No burger, I'm gonna eat after after the fight. When I eat some good food after the feel after the vein, it's all these things gonna finish, and uh, it's make me happy you know when you now i eat just some small chicken and uh, fish without rice but so i'm because i i know from like a bodybuilding diet like cutting water cutting like calories you but you're going into a fight does it when you're in that fight like, are you not fully energized because like you're talking about eating after eating a burger everything on monday mm-hmm. but during the fight you're not feeling f- like fully ready, not in the sense of to fight, but also like just physically fully. Ready. You know, after the vein, you have more than 34, oh, almost 34, 36 hours for the recovery. You yeah. can eat everything, whatever you want. And you have you every fighter like recovery and you, you're going to be ready 100% because 36 hours for the recovery. It's yeah. But bodybuilding and Way MMA, weight cut, this is not the same, I think. Yeah, very different. How is it, um, I seen a video the other day, you were walking by Charles Oliveira. Honestly, the old guys look same, like white head. And <laughs> oh, shit. I don't know which one is Charles Oliveira. <laughs> oh, shit. I love it. Oh, God. Oh, man. Yeah, you guys have been, like, beefing a little bit. Is there anything, like, personal in this fight, or is it just... Not like personally, you know, he's coming with his big team to Abu Dhabi. I have big team here, but we have some of two guys from our team, Islam Mamedov and Tagir Ulanbekov, who already beat two guys from his 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 uh, team, you know. Oh, That's really? Oh. Saturday is going to be 3-0. Third time's a charm. Damn. That's interesting. Damn. Damn! Wow, bro, you seem so calm. Because, so calm. Because I, because the uh, wrestling, it's I think hardest sport, you know. Do you do you think you're so calm? Is that is that because you have Hasbula in your corner? Is that like <laughs> what you? Yeah, he's gonna sit close to the cage and you know every, Charles Charles have four corners, but I have five. Is is Hasbula actually a cornerman or is he just No, he just sit uh close to the cage, you know. Yeah, like he j- okay, so he's not, not actually Not with his corner team, he sit other side close to the cage. Okay. That's I have awesome. a question. You you know how like everyone has like pet peeves in life, obviously in fighting. 
it's, it's way different but is there anything that you don't like like really don't like that a fighter does if you're in a fight like something that obviously you don't want to get hit i get it but something that really bothers you what i don't like yeah like some, fight, some fighters like, do, yeah do they always you do? know there's one thing i didn't like when they put the mouthpiece to the to the ear yeah this moment i don't like i when i saw in our gym some like kids do this i told them oh hey you cannot do this because this is not not good when you put to the hair your mouthpiece and you put again to the mouth you know what about like during a fight though like during a fight like a fighter like dirty fight during a fight while the fight's happening something a fighter does that really is like bothers you like my, my opponents yeah like your opponent like is there anything that uh any fighters have done or over time that you're like that you've, uh, you you have to get frustrated with i but in my career i don't remember that moment but i don't like when somebody want to like shake hands like between rounds and one guy say i don't want you know that moment I, 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 only touch or, gloves at the beginning yeah, or in the press conference, some guys try to like shake hands, other guys don't give him hands, you know. What do you prefer? I, if some of my opponents give me hands, I always... Oh, I see. It's not a problem, you know. <clears throat> but because in, in, I don't know, in my country, in the Dagestan, if you give someone the hands and he don't give you, this is like no respect. Disrespect, you know? yeah. Disrespect. I have a question. You grew up in Ma uh, Makshala. Is, is that yeah, Makhachkala. How was it like growing up? Nothing special, but you, if you grow up in Makhachkala, you gonna you 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 understand. But I cannot explain the old things what happened there. But this is regular routine, you know. When you was young, you grew up there. Everybody like because Habib many times say he he have many fights in the street but this is nothing special in guys from Dagestan you know just normal that's normal oh man <laughs> these guys are built different what uh what what obviously outside of technical like your 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 skill in wrestling what of your skills like <clears throat> power explosiveness strength which one do you think you have best uh you know some of guys have like wrestling but my technique is different my technique is I have wrestling skills and sambo, you know, and I try to mix and I think this this is different because I always do some some things like when I close to the cage, how I take my opponents down because I I never put all my energy or I never go to the double leg if he, he defends I don't go like again again I just do some other things because in my skills I have many 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 but besides your skills and technical like mm -hmm. where do you think you're best like strength speed endurance you know what I'm saying like last like are mm -hmm. you explosive like what do you you know I really believe right now I am best MMA fighter that's why I know all my skills are high level and I am good everywhere I love you Fuck. How do you predict you winning this fight? Uh, my goal, I have to finish him because this guy have most finishes in the UFC. My goal, I have to finish him. Take his record and this very good for my You think I can submit? Legacy. A submit? Yeah, submit. Doesn't matter how. Just finish him. Do you, do you listen to the noise? Like people doubting you and stuff? Like, yo, this guy hasn't fought anyone. Uh, you know, like many people say, Islam not deserve this fight. And Charles say, Islam not deserve the title fight. But yeah. who he, he call? He call Conor McGregor. Mm -hmm. This guy deserve. He call Nate Diaz. Or he tried to avoid me. But he call like other guys who have like five, six fight loose streak, you know. And before his title fight let's see who who he beat he beat just two guys who have some name kevin lee and uh, tony ferguson but that moment tony have four fight lose streak and uh, kevin lee that moment he have like seven his seven last fight he lost five times and this guy now say Islam not deserve, but 
look at the rankings, look at the all fighters in my division who deserve, who have win streak more than me. Yeah. Now 10 win streak, you have 11 win streak. I think this is a big, big fight for the fans. You also, uh, I don't know if this is a true fact or not, maybe your team knows, but maybe you know, but <clears throat> the amount of time you spent in the ring to get a title fight was like just seven seconds quicker than yeah, Khabib. Yeah, that is that a real fact? Yeah, I saw somewhere there's some, some, some. Is that, do you know me. if that's real or not? Because that's like the timing of that. I don't, I, d I don't check this. That would be the craziest thing. Imagine yeah, yeah. you got like a seven seconds ahead of him. <laughs> you got <laughs> no, the no. chance. That's I crazy. I saw there's some, uh, you see Russia put this. Yeah. Uh, it's nothing to me now. That's dope though. I think it's so cool. You're talking about McGregor. Do you think that he'll ever come back and fight in the UFC? He come back and just Twitter, you know, that's it. He oh, he's on the Twitter figures? Always in the Twitter because people almost forget him, you know. Oh. And he tried to put something and he put today something. People are going to talk about him, but I don't I don't believe he's going to come back. Obviously, man, if Connor does come back, please smash him. Just do me a favor. <laughs> I'm not going to. Every fighter try to call him after the. I'm not going to call him after the fight because... I want to fight with real fighters who deserve the title. Like Gamrod, like Gamrod like Benil, other guys. But honestly, all my professional career, I fight with guys who UFC put in front of me, and I, I, I always ready. You know, doesn't matter who. Before before you walked in, them before you walked in, them two were about to fight. I can't keep my cool like you. Yeah, That's what I gotta learn from you. Hey, this guy is so calm. It's like it's scary. good that he walked in because that them two are literally about yeah, to fight. Yeah, they were gonna fight. Who do you think wins? Who, yeah, two? Islam. Who would you take? Who would you put your money on? This guy. Which Why? one? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because you you, you you didn't ask a question. He know about MMA more than you. I, I had I had a bunch ready for you, but he pissed me off and it just like That's threw off my threw vibe. Off. I want him to get I, ca I can't block out the noise. You but know what I mean? I can organize some fight. We can move this. Please, thing. Yeah, yo, please. Let's please. do it right now. Let's uh, do it right now. Please. please. That'd be amazing. No, no this no, guy is nervous, know. nervous. How often? I'm curious. How often do you train with guys that are uh, heavier than you? Bigger. Bigger than me, yeah. You just have to. If if some fight, it's happen. You know this is gonna be happen. You just have to punch first. You know. Oh oh oh! oh I was asking just in general if you trained, like with guys who are heavier than you. Like ah, black, I you think you ask about the fights. No, I, I'm not saying if you fight a guy who's bigger ah. than you. I'm just saying in general, do you train for your fights with guys that are heavier? Like how do you uh, go about? Not so because this is dangerous when you're training with some guys who is like big and he can give you injury easy you know yeah that's why you have to be careful like right now habib is 95 kilograms and what's your and my weight is 77 76 yeah. i told him hey, now you can wrestle just with beer you know not me yeah. <laughs> what <Well, laughs> what are some of the best things that he's taught you as like a like character best Best, boy, you know, just there you go. <laughs> just but the best advice he his career. I just watch his career, how he training, how he did everything inside the gym, outside the gym. You know, this is good advice for me. I know what I need to do for for the for the moment for the build. You know. Something about you guys I noticed. We were talking about this. Like, when these guys get money, they get so flashy. But for you guys, it's just about, like, what's it more about taking care of your family and shit like that? Seems like honor. Islam's got the DR kicks on, though. I know. You do have. <laughs> yeah, you have. Fly. Those you are have, You have some drip, fly. but, but it's never about something like that, is it? Most my clothes, which Habib gift me, though. <laughs> Does he? Yes. Some of the friends, uh, I, honestly, I don't like to go the shopping too much and yeah I hate that maybe shit. this pants my friends give me these shoes too maybe i buy these t-shirts i don't know do you do you have any injuries like that you fight with consistently because i don't hear like fighters like a lot of fighters just they get hurt and they kind of just keep fighting no no i just look small injuries 
Just fucked up knuckles. You working for Charles's yeah, camp? Yeah, this goes out Thursday, bro. No, I'm just curious, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any that, was that a setup? My bad. Because, because the title fight, you know, I'm training so smart. Yeah. Do you think I saw Habib was selling, saying that uh, you're going to roll over Charles? Do you ever think that people underestimate him? Is that ever a fear of yours? Like We cannot underestimate him, but... But Habib knows he's. I'm in very good shape, and and I just have to follow the plan, and I'm gonna stop him very easy. Is, it, is there ever a time where like you're surprised and you're trying to execute your plan and it's not going for you? Like, are you ready to go? No, I'm, I'm just ready everywhere. You know, it's not striking fight or grappling match. You know. I'm ready everywhere. It doesn't matter where it's gonna be. So you because a, you know, uh, I'm a MMA fighter. I'm not grappler or right. striker. I'm a MMA fighter. That's why I'm ready. And for this fight, I training so hard. Up and up until this point, who's your toughest opponent you've ever faced? All my opponents is tough. If I'm let them work, if I let them like give them space, they always gonna be tough for me. But. I always do my do my job, you know. I take them down, hold them there, and all my like last four fight fights like look like easy, you know, but it's not easy. You just have to do where you good, you know. I know my wrestling skills better than all the fighters in my division. That's why I just choose the easy way when you said David <laughs> Ramos was like your toughest opponent Love not this. my wow. uh, hardest opponent I fought with uh, one time with Chris Wade I tried That's to good. choke him all first round and yeah. after the first round I feel like my legs is tired because I try to uh, give him triangle choke mm -hmm. and after that after that round I feel just a little bit uh, my legs is tired. That's why Habibs go angry too. And, and they give him this first round, they give him. And this fight, it's more hard. This fight that you're coming up? Not this. Uh, lot, uh, oh, okay. Fight with Chris Wade. Are, are you excited? Do you like, you like fighting in Abu Dhabi? Of course. This is best best place for me because easy to come from Russia and you know, we have here everything, like hospitality here. We have everything for the for the camp, food, like just what we need. They give me, the people give us. Good. Do you have like a Do you have like a consistent diet that you eat like every day? Of course, I working with some diet guy. He always give me breakfast, lunch, dinner. He always give me water, and he say what I have to eat. It's a great question. Does the fighter have a diet? I no, no, I meant that. like what? Is <laughs> not just you like see, you see, food. give all all fighters. Nice try, though. Some, no, I'm just trying. yeah. <laughs> some people who can help them. Uh, so I'm just asking, like, what what do your meals actually consist of? <laughs> Today, <laughs> breakfast eggs. For the lunch, I have I think some chicken, and for the dinner, always they give us fish. Do you, are you eating carbs or no no carbs? No carbs. This week, no carbs. What carbs do you eat when you start to... Rice, potato, nothing special. Simple shit. Yeah. So, it's a diet. Damn, I love it. I've seen too, you, uh, I think it was after the... I forgot what fight, Tiago Moises. Or it was like... Um, I forgot exactly what fight. But you talked about how like Khabib paid for like the whole camp and stuff. Like How much does that mean to you Like for him to like just take care of everything and... Have you focused on the fight? You know what I mean? I just forgot who you fought exactly when that happened. Uh, Habib always to care about all, all team. I cannot tell you like all, but everything. Just what we need is a not, not training now, not MMA fighter in. He to care about us. He give in, in when we in the USA. You know, this not money, not big, big things for him. And when everybody know he have like good money, but time, 
he lived from his family <coughs> for like two, three, four months, and now he travel everywhere to support all fighters from our gym. You know, mm -hmm. this is mean a lot. You know, because because you know he is a you know everybody know he is busy, but he spent more than half years with. Oh, guys. That's so awesome, we, we were talking earlier about him coming back. Do you think he would ever come back? No, I don't think he's come back because <laughs> for what? Yeah. I keep trying yeah. to tell him. I keep trying to tell him. For what? There's like a huge, belt, huge bag amount of money. Both he have money, he have <laughs> legacy or what? I don't know. Yeah, you don't know. How, assuming you get the W, how, how do you celebrate a win? I see where you're going there. If we're going to stay a couple of days in Abu Dhabi, Dubai, with all brothers, I have big team here. Nice. Sit uh, somewhere, eat good food. Nice. Islam, it never gets to your head. Like, like sometimes I see it too. Like if you were to lose this fight, hopefully you don't. I want you to win. Trust me. But if you were to lose it, like everyone's like kind of expecting Khabib to kind of come back and protect his legacy. Does that ever get in your head with that? No, it's some people say that, but. Habir is now never gonna come back, but everybody can lose, you know. I just did all my job, you know. I training so hard, and nobody know what God prepare for you. Mm -hmm. If they, if I'm lose, it's you know, just it was all last because plan, right? because they, does this is God plans. He prepared something good for you. Is it? Does that ever put like pressure on you? Just like the affiliation and relationship with your comparison with Habib? Like, do you ever wish you had your own identity? Like, so you had a separate legacy almost? No, this is not pressure. People always say it's like, you, you're gonna be like Habib or something like that. But I want to be, not, this is not, this is normal. Got it. It's awesome. Yeah, you're, we're rooting for you. We are. Yeah, please win, about him. Man. Please win. Please win, man. <laughs> please. Nice. Bad one on everything. The diet, the injuries. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just, I, I, honestly, yeah. I'm just I kidding. I'm, I'm, I'm just joking. Sure this guy. We got Oliveira <laughs> next, so. No, I'm just kidding. I'm so excited, man. This is oh, going to yeah. be amazing. Yeah. You seem so calm, too, just like. What, what's, 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 do you have music? What fires you up? Or how do you get going? Yeah, yeah what do you, what do you yeah. listen to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you listen to? Honestly, I Do you listen to Yeet? never listen to some music. And... For the walk to the octagon, I just say to my manager, put whatever you want. Nice. You know, no, like, USA music, like 50 Cent, 42 Doug, none of that. What, what about, like, a cheat meal? What's your go-to cheat meal? Cheat meal? Yeah. After the interview, I have the some chicken in my room. It's not a it's, cheat, though. It's Come on. not make me happy, you know? No. <laughs> because I But know you like cheesecake? Is, what do you like? This is... So dry. I feel like you like chocolate cake. I don't know why. <sighs> My favorite right now, I want to eat some Turkish sweet with ice cream. Oh, oh yeah. What flavor ice That's cream? funny because we're all about to have that after this. <laughs> yeah. No, don't <laughs> say that, bro. <laughs> He's cutting weight, dude. Don't say that. Oh, man. That's awesome. Hell yeah. So you, you just never get nervous. Have you ever been nervous going into a fight? When you have good training camp. But you, you've never been nervous. At no point in your fighting career. No, because, you know, you, ne you you can be nervous when you know I'm not preparing good, I'm going to tire That's a really or good something point. like that. Yeah. But when you're training hard and you, like, change opponent in the training all five rounds, you cannot be nervous because you know you're ready. So if you've you, always if been you, If you're lazy in the camp if you're not training hard it's it's gonna come to your mind you're gonna thinking i'm gonna lose i'm gonna tire it or yeah. something like that so is charles Oliveira thinking that you think <laughs> if you come here ask him <laughs> so every time you've you've always nailed it every single time you've never had one camp you're like damn i didn't do enough yeah, never in my all my career wow. in the amateur or professional if I'm not ready. I'm not complete somewhere. Damn. Shit. That means that means like every time you're just getting better and better and better and better. Following the plan, man. Yeah, because maybe after like I know couple of years when you become old, but 
right now every camp every fight i think i more improve yeah damn it's dangerous yeah. I'm excited for the fight. Yeah, I'm excited. Good. Super yeah. excited for the fight. All right, bro. We'll let you Thank go. You for coming. Thank you so much. Thank you so man. much. Awesome. Amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you, bro. Bro, that guy is going to be the craziest motherfucker for the rest of like 10 years, bro. I swear on my life. That guy's an assassin. No. What's up, bro? I'll leave it up, bro. Hey, That's it. Dr. Volk in the house. Let's go, baby. Let's go. go. Damn. This was spontaneous as fuck, too. Yeah. yeah I didn't. Yo, I, I mean, it's it's crazy. How you've been sick. cutting weight? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you, yeah you're, well. you're so like compared to Islam came in here. We talked to him. You're like your energy is super high. Yeah. Well, it's a it's a lot weight, so it's a heavier division, which that that helps a bit. But I'm yeah. I'm usually all fight weight. Even when I'm fighting at uh, featherweight, I'm usually pretty pretty chirpy. I'm usually uh, pretty happy and don't mind the camera in front of me. So it's all good. 100 percent when when did you find out like when did they ask you to be the official backup well i sort of i told them that i wanted to do it so really? really yeah it wasn't really uh just skip through Benio, huh yeah it was just <laughs> well i was just uh, i was at yeah like i was in the cast and i was like you know what i might uh i might want to be the backup you know what i mean like i'm gonna i'll talk to my strength and conditioning coaches like oh yeah, yeah i think we could do this you know i tell the ufc they're like mm, I don't know. Uh, we got the clearance and then told them, look, I want to be the backup. And they're like, all right, sweet. So I knew about this, uh, you know, probably like, you know, a while ago. Like it just got announced maybe a week or two ago, but I knew about it a bit earlier and I was training as if I was, I could be fighting anyway. That's, so. that's the yeah. kind of power you have now where you're like, just, you call the UFC, you're like, you know what, I'm the backup. <laughs> Oh, man, that's pretty I, dope. I, yeah. mean, like, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> that does sound cool. I'll be like, I'll, yeah. you know, I can claim like, yeah, you know, I just tell them what you know what I want. But nah, it's not really like that. I think it's, I think it's pretty cool. Like you know, you got the the featherweight champion. You know, because 100%. obviously I've been talking about wanting to move up and fight for that lightweight title, and now I'm uh, willing to be the backup. Not many people would do this, so it's an 100%. opportunity there. Like man, like no matter what happens, we're gonna have a a big fight either way. You know what I mean? Like mm. uh, if someone gets injured or misses weight, we've got the pound for pound number one stepping in anyway you know what i mean so it's an opportunity they didn't want to let go and yeah i threw it at them and they go yeah sweet let's do it who would you who would you have rather fought who would have uh like uh well like if if even now if something happens i mean charles probably charles like let's uh let's be real he's an uncrowned champ right everyone uh, looks at him as a a champ so uh you know going out there and and beating him everyone would uh, look at me as a champ you know if uh Either way, I should be looked at the champ, no matter what happens. Even if right. it was Islam, I'm sure people would still. But there, there will be that little bit of ah, oh, nah, you got to beat the champ, right. the real champ. So, and obviously, it's, I think that's a bigger fight. There's a lot of hype around Charles. A very exciting fight. So, um, I think that that'll be a much bigger fight. Did you see that uh, you were not even just the backup fighter, but uh, if they were to fight right, obviously they're about to fight and stuff. After you would fight for the title, right? Yeah, yeah, like I did see that. that. Um, you know, I've been, that's why I put myself in this position too, right? I was, uh, I didn't want anyone to take that opportunity away from me. So I was like, I'm going to go there. So if something happens, I step in or that puts me next in line. So that's what I've been saying. That's how I looked at it. That's what I thought was fair. And the big boss agrees with me and he said it himself. So that's good. Eager, super eager. <laughs> you you treat this exactly as if you're fighting, right? What's like that, nothing's sorry? different. You're treating this exactly as if yeah, you're man, like, oh, yeah, yeah. I guess uh, yeah, I'm, prof- I'm professional. Yeah, I'm disciplined, and uh, yeah, I'm treating this as if I am stepping in. You know, where uh, I've, you know, many people could probably do that and stay motivated and be able to, you know, do some of the fucking sessions that we do. Like, it's no joke, but uh, that's just, just yeah, that's how I am. You know, I've uh, locked in. I committed to this, so I'm gonna properly commit to it. It's fucking crazy. <laughs> no sympathy for Benil. Uh, Damn, oh, that look, sucks man. for that man, man. I mean. Well, uh, to, 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 Think about it, right? Yeah, like, well, uh, <laughs> <laughs> like he's never feel like a prick now. Well, that's no, not no, his no, job. No, 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 no. Well, I think he's <laughs> say, dude. I don't know who told him bro. that, right? I don't know who told him that. Yeah, I don't know. I just seen um, it. like again, I got enough of a respect for Benil, but you know, I was calling for the for this straight after my fight, and uh, you know, a lot of people agree that I deserve to fight for a title. Like, you know, I didn't ask for it um, any earlier. Because I waited till I, you know, thought I deserved it and earned it. You know, I've always been like that, earned, not given. I've always been about that, and I definitely believe that, that I've earned this. And especially me doing what I'm doing, I think a lot of people can agree. Yeah, but Neil did get told that. I don't know who talked to him. Originally, they probably thought there's no way I could fight because again, not many people do what I do, especially mm-hmm. being in a cask not too long ago. So they thought, oh yeah, we'll be the backup if something happens. But I put my hand up, and yeah, I guess people could say I took that away from. Him. But I mean, he's got to fight an absolute beast. Yeah. This weekend, yeah, that yeah. should be yeah, that should be what he's focused on. Gamrot's no joke. So, um, but he, yeah, his time will, will come around again. You know. If, uh, you know, yeah, do I, 
I wouldn't say I feel feel bad for him because, yeah, no, I still I think he's a deserving guy to to maybe. But I mean, I still think there may be a little bit more work. I think that's you know he mm-hmm. definitely needs to to fight anyway. Um, where me, I've you know I've defend. I've had five title fights. You know what I mean? And you know, pound for pound, number one and things like that. And now that I've done this, I think uh, it's well deserved. In uh, in the case that the fight goes on as it's supposed to, who do you think's uh, going to take the W? Man, uh, you know, I'd probably lean towards uh, Islam. Yes. Yeah, you want to break that? <laughs> you should break <laughs> Islam. Yeah. Oh, you are, yeah. It's, um, again, like it's Bro, a... this guy. <laughs> yeah, no, well, I'd probably lean towards uh, Islam. Why is that? Oh, look, because obviously Charles is very dangerous and anything can happen, right? Like uh, this is MMA and he, he can he can land the knockout. He can even maybe get the submission, but I think Islam's uh, approach in his game is... a. Uh, he, he does it well. He men uh, can be pretty similar. I know he does. He likes to be like, oh yeah, we're two complete different fighters. They are, but they're not at the same time, right? They're 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 very good at what they do. They know their grappling and wrestling, and then control is is where they want the fight. So their whole striking uh, approach is purely take no damage and find their way there. So like mm-hmm. it's, um, and I think with Charles' uh, style, even though he's going to come in aggressively. You know, I don't think uh, Islam will take too many risks. He will try and grab a hold of the leg and bring him to the ground. This is something that uh, I've been trying to get people to understand. I think Islam's going to outgrapple Charles, but Islam needs to grab a hold of uh, Charles and uh, take him down at his, on his terms, not fall into his guard or anything like that. Say if he was to fall over and go on his back and pull a guard, and he, I don't think Islam will want to actually approach the ground that way. He would want to grab a leg, bring him down and have full control while he's getting him down being the exact position he wants to be as he's going down and control everything, cage your hips so there's no scramble ability and no uh, no real threat. And they're really good at doing things like that. So that's why I'm leaning towards uh, Islam. But it's going to be an exciting fight because, you know, Charles is going to try and throw some shit. That's for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What do you think about the – people are talking a lot about the Sugar and Yawn fight. Yeah, man. That's, people are um, counting Sugar. What do you think about that fight? It's three rounds. People got to look up. I'm a – PDR's my guy, you know. I train with PDR, and um, you know, again, he's a he's an absolute savage. Sean's good though. Like, you know, obviously, there's a lot of hype on him, but I mean, he's he's legit. He can fight, and he's got a you know, he's got a really good style. He even fights well off the back foot, which I think will help him maybe in the first round, depending on how uh, PDR approaches this. I've been saying uh, all week that that PDR, he's a type of fighter that he's he's that good that he could start fast and like you know take more risks and stuff like usually a slow start he likes to get reads and all that and that's why he usually lets the first round go that's why the this three rounder is what makes if it was five rounds i'll be like yeah oh, man like you know pdn's gonna be very hard to beat the fact that it's three rounds um i think uh sean definitely has a chance but you know i'm obviously gonna back my guy uh, pdn because he's so well-rounded and the pressure you know i think you'll definitely eventually get to him i think he needs to put the foot on the gas earlier though yeah as strikers, like, are you guys trying to avoid guys like Islam that are wrestlers? Like, how do you even prepare for that? Because, like Luke Rockhold said the other day, once once Islam could be, those guys get you on the ground, you have no chance. Yeah, well, uh, well, that's it. Like, you got to put yourself in shitty positions, right? Like, yeah. you know, it's going to be uncomfortable, and you're going to. So, my camp, a lot of it was, to be honest, this camp. Even though I'm training for both, we're game planning for both. You could say. There was a little more planning for Islam, just so you can be prepared to. Because yeah, there's a good chance I'm 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 a realist. Like uh, I'm very hard to hold down, but I mean, there's a chance that he could uh, get a hold of me and bring me down. So I'm gonna, you know, obviously try and stop that, or be able to get up, or be uh, good enough to to you know keep screaming and not let him get the finish and all that type of stuff. Get back to my feet and obviously use my hands. I'm very hard to hold down, and obviously everyone talks about his uh, control, and I believe it. Mm-hmm. But I mean, I've I've trained with many guys that are very, very uh, good, uh, uh, very good grapplers, and yeah, again, I'm very hard hot. These midget legs, mate, I'm telling you, <laughs> these uh, little uh, the short limbs and all that makes it very easy for me to to get back to my feet and hold and hold down. They're really good at uh, you know securing legs, locking legs, and shutting down the hips. Very hard to do uh, with someone of my uh, stature and my is, build. Is that because like, uh, do you feel as if Oliver would just completely try to strike with you? Because it, it seems as if he's been doing that the last couple of fights. He's yeah, been. man, like, uh, it's just the, the way he approaches it. He's very dangerous. So he's, uh, you know, he'll, uh, like, it's either he gets you or you get him. You know mm. what I mean? That's not how I fight. That's why I think stylistically it works in my favor. I'm the type of guy that, even though I throw a lot of volume, mm. uh, there's a defensive uh, sort of uh, approach in the way I do it. So there's always a safe net, you know what I mean? Like, uh, I can land hands and land heavy, but at the same time, be in the right position and not really give him a chance. 
And uh, with someone like uh, Charles, I think I can uh, really use that against someone like him. Mm -hmm. But again, one slip up with him when it comes into the clinch, comes into the grappling, or even on the feet, it's game over. So as um, they're both very dangerous, both different fights, but. You know, mm -hmm. when I look at Charles, I think, you know, mm -hmm. the only way of him beating me is uh, catching me with something. Where Islam, it's going to be a fight. Or, like, you know, I, like I either catch him early or it's going to be a fight. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we're going to have to see what happens in them later rounds. You know, it's going to be like that. That's how I look at it. Because, again, he's a gamer. He's really good at what he does. But everyone that knows me knows that I'll be there the whole 25 minutes. You know? 100%. It's, yeah. it's so funny. I think we were all, were we all at the last fight when he fought Max? Do you ever, yeah. Is it ever, like, yeah. through your mind where you're, that like, insane, where you're, bro. like, Standing there, and you're like, yo, I'm beating the shit out of this guy. Uh, <laughs> like, yeah, like, that's, go through your head. That yeah, fight was does. fucking amazing. Are you yeah, just like, yo, I'm beating your control guy, in that fight? Holy shit. Yeah, yeah well, that's uh, that's how it was. You know what I mean? Again, I, I went into that fight telling myself, like, that's it. You know, you're you're too good. You're too fast. You know, you need to remember that. You, I'm, you know, you need to win every exchange. The first, all of them in between, and the last. You know what I mean? And I had to really have it in my head that you're too good and, like, sort of be a... What's the word of love? Not cocky, but be confident and like be like, no, nah, fuck you. You know what I yeah. mean? You ain't you ain't having any of you know, no way. I had that in my head like going in and things started going uh, my way early. Yeah, it was crazy. Um, I felt like I was just, just a step ahead seeing everything and uh, the game plan was working well and um, yeah, it was good. Obviously, I broke my hand in that, that fight right. second round and so I was talking a bit early yeah. and then uh, yeah, as, as I've been saying, uh, second round once i broke my hand the chirping stopped a little bit after i broke my hand but, <laughs> but <laughs> i was still a big confident. chirper in the, in the ring hey do you like do you chirp in the <laughs> ring uh like uh yeah well, not much but here and there i will you are know they, but are, i mean it's never disrespectful for are me. they planned or are they on mm -hmm. the spot Isn't when you start well, like, winning yeah i know it's just uh, like what do you say i'm mean, just uh i like to let them know like you know because they have game plans and all that type of stuff so you sort of want to get in their head as well and <laughs> again i get i like to get in my own head so i did that to max because i told you how i wanted that mindset going into that so i started talking and started saying stuff to remind myself it's like yeah you're too good and to sort of let him know it's like hey too fucking quick for you you know what i mean and uh that's sort of uh where it was and yeah man again it's never disrespectful but it happens you have some uh you know alpha moments in there here and there so even me me and uh Ortega, we had uh, some of their moments as well, which are, uh, it's fun as well. People love it. Yeah, I'm yeah. curious about the IQ because you seem to have like so much fight IQ. Like, can you, can you see a fighter and know like, okay, this person is like, like Sugar Sean, for example, mm -hmm. right? You, you said, okay, you could tell he's a great fighter. Mm -hmm. Can you tell people like how they're, how good their fight IQ is just based on fighting, like watching them fight? Oh, yeah, man. Like, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah, yeah, you definitely can. Like, again, there's going to be guys that have got really good natural instincts, uh, well-trained, and then there's going to be people that are, you know, good at problem solving, uh, good range. There's a lot of uh, different things that come into it. But, I mean, with someone like Sean, I'll give him uh, props because, you know, again, a lot of people are just going to sit there and then try and say it's hype as well, but he's legit. Like, he can fight. He's, what what he's makes striking. him legit? Oh, yeah, like a... Uh, Mate, like, uh, for someone who's uh, had that many fights, uh, what he sees as well, though, he's obviously confident. And you can yeah. see that in there. So he knows what he's doing and the control he has while he's doing it. Even the spinning stuff and all that. Like, a lot of people think he's just throwing stuff out there. But, I mean, he sets a lot of that up. He sets traps. He cuts people off, turns them into certain yeah. things. Like, I, I notice all these little things. Like, it's not just, oh, I'm going to stand here flat foot and just swing some crazy shit. Right. It's like, you know, it's, it's planned. It's strategy. It's, you know, it's cutting them off with a uh, certain spin kicks it's turning them into certain kick you know all little things like that and like and he's got good hands good uh, good range and uh you know again but i mean with someone like peter yarn peter yarn's a easy game he's very defensively sound he's tough and he's going to walk forward yeah. so that's uh, going to be a problem for for sean someone who's not just going to let you you know touch on the outside uh so it'll be very interesting to see what goes what goes down in that fight do you do you i'm sorry do you watch um like other fighters for your fight iq like how is there anyone who's inspired you or is like is it just all trained through your training oh man it's, it's a bit of everything yeah you're gonna watch uh fighters i think it's more the knowledge from the coaches as well yeah. you know what i mean like when the coaches do a good job of not just telling you what to do and Watching you. you know make, make it you know, you want to understand what you're doing yeah and uh they've uh, done a really good job of making me understand uh, what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, the mechanics, keys, principles, all that type of stuff, you know what I mean? So now, you know, someone can tell me, uh, this guy does this. I was like, all right, like, oh, we want to do this, 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 it. And I can do that on the fly. I could be in there and, like, that's why I love sparring people I've never sparred before. Different body shapes and all that. I love figuring people out because I've got that knowledge to, to do that. And it's sort of, uh, you know, you play, it's sort of like you're, you're training your brain still, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. you know, I love that, you know, I'm all about that. But again, 
you know, you've got to thank your, your coaches for letting you have that understanding of the game to be able to for do sure. that. Is there ever uh, in certain moments where you feel like, man, I could really finish this fight really fast, but kind of in your brain where you're like, man, let's make this exciting. Do you, do you ever feel like that in certain fights? Um, I mean, getting a quick finish is always exciting too, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. I mean, like, you know, it's, I guess it's a risk involved as well. There's a lot on the line, man. That's the thing that I get what people want to see. Yeah, blood, you know, just stand there toe-to-toe, yeah. -to -toe, no footwork and just chin down and just go for it yeah it's fun it's good we get to see that sometimes but i mean i think people need to really respect the the Art. technical ability yeah. and the you know all that type of stuff the uh -huh. game planning strategy all that type of stuff mm -hmm. which the beautiful thing about uh about the fans now is like everyone's really starting to appreciate you see people go to the ground and you see some jujitsu the fan go the fans go nuts about it they love seeing some uh, scrambles and the submissions getting thrown up so everyone's uh, they've got the knowledge now and uh, they really appreciate uh, even with my last performance, even though they went the decision, people understand, like, what? Well, you fucking done that to Max Holloway. Yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, like, fuck you. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So it's it's good that people really get it and understand it. And, uh, you know, it's the, the sports are evolving so much and uh, the fan base is too. I asked Islam this, but what do you think your best attribute, attribute as a fighter is? Like your strength, your power, your speed, your IQ? Strength is definitely one of them. Strength and uh, but like you I mean, ever feel like I'm sorry to interrupt. Yeah, you right, ever right. feel like you're with your you're tussling with a guy and just like I'm just stronger than this. Yeah, dude. man, the strength strength is something that's definitely always you know I've always had a a bit a bit of strength of voice. Like, even with uh, welterweights and middleweights that were training me, they'll be like, "Fuck me, dead." Like, yeah. how's a featherweight this strong? You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's uh, so a lot of people, uh, like it was it was funny actually. Me and uh, Easy were on doing doing a bit of war work. Uh, when was the last time I was over there? And um, we haven't trained with each other through obviously COVID and all that. So we didn't train each other for a while. And then I got him on the wall and then straight away he helped me. He goes, oh, fuck, there's that pressure again. Like he goes, like, you just quickly reminded of um, my featherweight, like, you know, me being a featherweight, being so small and being so powerful. He's like, oh, fuck, I remember that. Um, so it's just it's just funny when people feel it, they don't expect it from someone uh, my size. Yeah. So that's why a lot of people are thinking I'm moving up and like, oh, he's not going to be used to the powers. Like, trust me, strength is not an issue for me. Yeah. Because I'm used to like uh, that type of stuff. I'm used to big boys and if yeah maybe and then people might say the size but i'm gonna look at everyone everyone's fucking taller than me you so know i asked i asked this on the same thing i asked you fight do you ever train with just bigger dudes oh all the time all the time all the time obviously you want to train with all levels of guys my size as well like fast and you know you got to yeah. you know you can't hit as hard and you can't use as much strength you got to you know you, you want to try and be a bit more technical yeah. but then uh you know you get some big boys in and uh you know really uh Get them rounds in too. Has you know, there, what, has there one, one more? Sorry, yeah, on the same line. Right. Has there been anyone that you fought with that you were like, "Whoa, this fucker's strong." That you were um, like, that I fought. Maybe like yeah. that got frustrated because you hit him you're so like, hard, and you're like, "Why won't this guy go down?" Oh, mate, there's uh, been uh, plenty of those, and like I've been, yeah, the, all my last ones really, they're all like. Who do you think's like, the look, toughest guy you've ever fought? Yeah, man, like you got. Well, Max has definitely got to be up there again. Yeah. Like he's never been knocked down. Yeah, it's like fucking how the nuts. fuck you've had that many fights. And no, you would think that, that guy you know what I mean? down. And well, like, he gets well, his, like a lot of people talk about his volume and how many strikes he lands, but he's got a lot of uh, punches landed on him and he's damage, never went down. Lots of I've had to fight him fucking three times. I've obviously, there's going to be a yeah, how yeah. to knock this guy out. And so he's definitely, uh, you know, I said like, oh, that chin's got to go eventually. I go, I, th I think this might be it, my last one. But if, if it was ever a time to go, I think that was it. I landed some big shots and he just kept coming forward he's a gamer man like that's why you gotta have a lot of respect for him it wasn't going his way and he just kept coming forward so you're gonna have that you got guys like even uh, ortega he um to take some of the punishment he did that was crazy and then to come back in the fifth round uh you know probably one of his best rounds you got even respect for that even though i felt he he wanted it out after that third round like uh, i could sense that like and you know, he was hoping the ref would then like, this ain't a shot to him you know what i mean it's just obviously he put it all out there um, things weren't going his way. He got me in the, you know, he thought that was done, right? Had me in that guillotine. Yeah, oh, it's I over. Know, yeah. I get out and he's like, what do I got to do to get this guy? Oh, man, I'm done. You know what I mean? I could see it in his eyes and the way he was communicating with the officials and that, I was like, yeah, he doesn't want to be there, but credit to him. That um, shit was they, tight, you know, bro. Yeah, it was. You can it was see tight, that huh? You can see that in someone when they're just yeah, yeah, mentally giving up. Yeah, I can, I can look at him. Yeah, even a zombie, the, the same thing for him. Again, we're warriors, right? We're not going to sit there and like, oh, tap uh, to nothing or say I'm done. Yeah. But I mean, you do not tell a, a ref, I can't see, um, and like, you know, like, look confused. The ref's going to stop it. it. Yeah. So again, you're going to milk it as much as you mm -hmm. fucking can. Like, not milk, like, sorry, milk's not the right word. You're going to fake it as much as you can that you are more good. Yeah. I'm like, oh, yeah, no, no, I'm sweet, I'm sweet. You know, you do not want to give them a, a yeah, sign man. that you are, you are hurting or you're fatigued or you don't know what's going <laughs> on. 
they're going to pull it. But uh, I know it was an exciting fight, so the, the officials didn't want to pull it. So you talk about like that warrior aspect. Like, do you uh, do you fight with rage or do you fight with just like you're calm? Yeah. Like, what's that? What is that like? Calm, man. Definitely calm. I'm though. It's not not anger. Is the it most ever been? Uh, nah, no. Nah, I think uh, look, maybe Ortega. Uh, there wasn't anger. Anger's uh, the wrong word. There was a uh, you know a. Uh, the f there was a bit of fire there though there was a bit of like mung like I've always got the mungle what's the word I'm looking for um, even with the, with Max right no not frustration it wasn't it wasn't that at all but it was like let's fucking let's let's get it you know what I mean I was yeah. willing to Conquer, even right? even take a little bit more risk and all that just to really put it on and uh, and things like that I don't know it was just a yeah just just fire man I just just some some fights are going to be there but for me it's all about being composed being uh you know have we got a game plan you know my my coaches and team put such a big effort in getting me prepared yeah uh get game plans uh, for me to just go out there and ah, rage out and just fucking do yeah. some completely opposite is pretty disrespectful to them you know what i mean and yeah that's not how i roll anyway i yeah. like to you know i love playing the the chess you know in in the octagon and, you know, i think i play it well so i like to use uh, all uh, all chips on the board you know the pawns and everything so i think uh, i do that well and i think that's what separates me you said before what separates you yet yeah, strength that's always been there but the the way i, I you know i understand the game I yeah, the not IQ, only I mean, yeah the iq saying is like it's not just the iq of the sport the iq of what works for me as well of, of uh, my understanding uh, my understanding of my body type my uh what works for me what doesn't and what works for these other guys and what won't just little things like that like i think in relationship yeah. to them like yeah how you're gonna work best yeah them. exactly yeah. Yeah. How, how do you do that because we we recently did anderson silva mm -hmm. and he said that practically every fighter is fighting with an injury yep so when you talk about breaking your hand like mentally what does that do to you and have there been times where you like really got fucked up and you're like yo i gotta fight through this oh man yeah that that happens you just gotta try and zone it out so i it happened in the second round try to zone it out but, but yeah like, like just try and like you know just not 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 worry about that like, again like with my hand right like i was sitting there and it was something that was obviously obviously there i was thinking about it so i was talking to my uh coaches I, like after the second round i went there and i like whispered to joe and they're like oh, i broke my hand and then they didn't say nothing so I went in went in the third round and was able to just not worry about it and just use it. Be like, all right, like trust me, I was hitting it and it was hurting. They didn't grab. respond to you. Well, they you they just that. were like because they didn't want me to think about it. Yeah. Oh, and then so like so crazy. I went really? I, so, dope, so, so yeah really? so I went Holy so I went shit. there and Warrior shit. yeah yeah so I went it, it, gets, it sort of gets better. So I went in the third round, did that was another really good round and that's with the broken hand. I decided to tell the corner again like oh they might might not have heard me. My hand's yep. broken. I broke my hand. And then uh, one of them uh, said to me, whispers in my ear, goes, I don't want to hear you mention that fucking hand. You're scared of the mics, huh? Yeah. Yo, you're scared of the mics. Who are these That's guys? Are you scared of the mics? Yeah. Yeah. The I'm mics be hearing you guys. Uh, huh? Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. Uh, you, oh, if the God. mic was there, like they, we, we make sure that our, our head coaches and that don't have the mic. We always give it to someone else. So they're not giving too if much If they dare, you're probably like, hope exactly that on IG, huh? And, and I, but this is the, the under, I knew straight away what they were talking about, right? I'm just like, I'm like, going, oh, yeah, 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 right, sweet. I knew exactly what they meant. It's like, going. It's fucking broken. You oh, just did shit. a round. What are you gonna why are you still it? thinking about yeah. it? And I'm like, yeah, true. All right, I just I just did another round. I was crazy. able to get around it. Stop thinking about it, and wow, then didn't bro. think about it for the obviously f felt it, but I just I even use a hand more. Oh, I use my, my hand more. Yeah, there's something wrong with you. I had it go? No, but I mean, I had I had more because I broke this part. Right? There's a <laughs> surgery. There. There's a surgery there. Oh shit. So I I used. I just made sure I used the right part of my hand. Four knuckles, yeah. Yeah, so I'd be like that. So uh, I just had a lot more strategy in how I used that left hand. So it was a lot more jabs That's and hooks. Crazy, That's yeah. Yeah. So I used it more because I didn't want to go in there and just start throwing because I knew that was a better chance of hitting it. So I actually yeah. started jabbing and just use where you see me in them later rounds using my jab so much more because I could control the distance with it and I could uh, be a lot more uh, so strategic insane. with it. It's crazy because so the crazy. other guy doesn't know. You know yeah, what I mean? yeah, he doesn't really know. People need to hear this shit because you need more respect yeah, for man. that, bro. Yeah, exactly. well, you're insane. Yeah, yeah. You're insane. Intense. I don't know why. Well, you... a, I think again, like a, I think a lot of fighters, you, you will see that. But I mean, yeah, for for me to do, I mean, like, and you talk about people being injured, yeah, all the time. You know, you get injuries. Like, uh, I don't think there's been a camp where things have ever yeah. went perfectly uh, uh, well. You know what I mean? There's always something going on. Man, I'll, I'll tell you, may as well while we're on it. Uh, when I fought uh, Darren Elkins um, two days before the fight. I tore me in a costal muscle. So we're like, uh, so like, I don't know if you know what that is, it's like breaking a rib. It's pretty much the exact same, same pain, like uh, breaking a rib or tearing your rib cartilage. Um, I did that like two days before the fight. Couldn't move. Like I remember sitting in bed and 
talking to my coaches, I'm like, you know, what we do is they're like, you know, we talk to the doctor and he's like, oh, we can give you some anti-inflammatories that might like, you know, half the pain. I, had to talk, I couldn't even get out of bed. Like I was water alone. I had to get up to go to bed and I will like have to game plan. How the fuck do I get out of bed? Like, you know, I'm sitting there like that. I remember getting up. It was that painful. I'm like, man, I started crying because I, I didn't have much money then. I needed a fight. I'm like, can I fight? You know, I'm away from my family. I won't be able to. I started crying. Uh, the, even the crying hurt so much, I couldn't even cry. So I was like sitting there going, fuck, I can't even cry. You know what I mean? Like it's tough. It was a, it was a blowout. But that's how much pain I was in. I couldn't, I couldn't train. Um, even the day of the, the weigh-in, sorry, not, not the day of the preparation backstage, like, you know, when you're warming up for the fight, I couldn't throw my right hand. Still couldn't throw my right hand. Um, so I had to just wait until I was in there. You even see in that fight, when I first, I throw like a right hand, I'll go to throw it and I sort of fake it. And you see me, I remember it. I remember like, oh, it took the wind out of me. I'm like, fuck, it's going to be a long night. Uh, but I mean, after that, I was like, I was able to, to forget about it. But the adrenaline. Just, yeah, the adrenaline did kick in and, and it helped. Wow. But it was definitely on the mind. But I was able to, you know, went out and uh, which, won anyway. which fight was this earlier in your career? That was, uh, yeah, that was a couple of fights before for the title fight. I think, yeah. Oh. So it was before, before Chad Mendes. So after, uh, say you win the lightweight, you know, <clears throat> title fight. Mm -hmm. um, like, what are your plans after that? Do you feel as if that you want to hold on to it for a couple of years? Or yeah, man, I want to. That's a, a lot of people say they want the champ, champ. You know, they want to be champ, champ. But do they really want to defend both belts in both divisions? That was, I that's hard, man. That's yeah, hard. yeah, it, it is hard. Yeah. You know, and a lot of people think it can't be done. But I mean, I'm going to prove that it can. Like, you know what I mean? Like, especially like we're talking about mindset. You're right. That's just just how I am. Like, I, like I fought Max, mm -hmm. broke my hand, I had surgery. And I'm here doing this. You know, know what I mean? Right? You're telling me I'm, I don't want to be active? Like, yeah. look look what I'm doing. Look what I'm... Uh, I'm showing everyone that I will be an active uh, double champ. Mm -hmm. And like, you know, I'll, I'll defend a, a lightweight belt and I'll fight two, three months after for, you know, featherweight. You know, I'll do that. Especially with one of the division not being a big weight cut. Yeah, wild, I'll be bro. able to be more active. Again, I'm not I'm not going to be young forever. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, let's let's capitalize on, on uh, these opportunities where we can while I'm in my peak, keep kicking ass and uh, keep making that money. That, that mindset. What, what do you think? The, like, was the number one thing that helped you develop that? Oh, man, it's uh, I come from a small town. Like, I uh, I learned so much as I go through. Man, I, I think it's just something that was. I don't know maybe the, the way I was raised, you know what I mean, like and things like that, and just I don't know. I could, I could, I could, yeah, when, when did you raised? start? Hey, fighting? well, really, yeah, with just that that mentality. My, my dad, like hard, like hard workers, and just sort of uh, had to be pretty independent at an early age um you know i've always had to you know figure figure out like this isn't a shot at my parents my parents were great they, they were just used to work really hard and you know i used to look after myself having an older brother beating up on each other you know it made me durable like all these life experiences really made me like who i am you know it wasn't a it wasn't a point where i was like oh i'm gonna do this and then it started to happen i think it was, was just set in stone like it was yeah exactly it all just yeah. built into to this person i am now and now i understand it I, I get it now, right? I get why I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get I get why I'm the I am the champ I am and what's going on. That just fires me up. Now that I understand, I'm like going, all right, let's 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 oh, push these ready, boundaries. Let's keep yeah. going. Let's yeah, keep I'm going. Now ready. that I know, it, it fucking pumps me up. It just makes that's why awesome. I'm like doing things that people yeah. think I shouldn't be doing. Uh, I love a challenge. I was like, oh, I'll show you I can do it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's uh, again, that's what got me here. And uh, that's why, you know, my, that's why I believe my name will be remembered. Let's go. I think awesome. we got to wrap up. I think yeah. PR team's giving no. us the weight, but yeah, we yeah, appreciate no worries, it. Bro. Man, no worries. That, the yeah. summer's coming awesome, down, man. too. We're yeah. losing yeah. some light. You know? Appreciate you coming <laughs> through, bro. No worries, so much, man. Bro. Thank, Thank you. you. Appreciate it. It was awesome. Yeah. See you later. So now we got uh, Charles Oliveira coming on. Last yes. minute. We're clutching all these guys. This is sick now. We got the fucking both guys in the main event Incredible. on the same and pod. Best pound for pound fighter in the world right now. Volkanovski, so fucking stack. That's the ultimate Crazy. lineup. Yeah. Sugar was uh really busy today with fucking weight cuts and shit like that. Yeah. Otherwise, we would have obviously had him on too. He sent me a selfie. He's like dead ass asleep. He's focused. Yeah, he's yeah. fucking he's gassed. Like, and you know, we need just translate. We need Sugar to win too. So gas. He's completely asleep. Yeah. But we have a translator here, and our translator seems to be having like some technical difficulties. So they're gonna. So Charles Oliveira. You're just happy to be just back on the camera. Yeah, I'm just fuck. nervous, You man. haven't been on the pod in I'm a while. I'm just nervous. Like, I don't know. But, just, but why? all you have to do is, like, you, you grew up speaking Portuguese. Like, I you, know. I'm just nervous. Okay. Why? I'm nervous about, bro. Because, like, I don't know. It's our like, chef our chef doesn't speak a word of English, and he translates all everything. the time. So like, why all of a sudden it's different? I'm just nervous because, like, I don't know. Talking to, Char to, to, like, to Charles Oliveira is, like, I don't know. He's, like, he's big. This like, guy's extra, bro. I want to yeah. make sure it goes... Sure. exactly like he's saying like 
I don't want to say something. Let's repeat. Made up and that, get roasted. This is what he was hired to do for this. Yeah. Oh no. Team. Yeah. When it was literally your first job. Originally, you were hired in Brazil to be their translator in Brazil. Yeah. When was I was in Brazil, job. I was a translator so, for okay. them. You I was pretty well. I'm here now, so I was like, you, you know? forgot Portuguese. No, I, I, I grew up in Brazil for okay. like 19 years. Is there anything man. you want to say? Because I speak been to on my here. mom to Yo. my Jusada, everybody every day. So Gabby, like, is there anything you want to say? You just haven't been on here since the cat question, the whole that whole thing. Is there anything yeah. you've been wanting to say? Get off your chest, well, to address people. No, nah, I'm good. No, no, it's the only thing like red's way better than Steiny. <laughs> Thanks for the comments, appreciate <laughs> Thank it. Thank you, man. I really yeah, appreciate of course. that. <laughs> this guy just like that does not just doesn't. I'm trying know his to fire you up, man. I'm trying yeah, to fire you up. This is not working really well, so shut okay, up. Okay, okay. I it, appreciate you know? that game. Just do your part. Stay right there. That's all. Okay, there we go. Thank you. <laughs> there we go. Thank Does you. everybody just say just, just let Brad lead the podcast? That's it. <laughs> that's Guess true. I set one up there. Go to the huh? comments right now. Go to the comments right now with my camera. Okay. I don't read them. You the must spend right a lot now. of time there looking for that's your it. name. <laughs> At least my name's in there, buddy, a lot. Well, well, don't see yours in there. My name, too. Sometimes it's not good, but it's there. Sometimes it's not a good comment, but they are there. This is funny. Yeah, Thanks, no. Gabe. Just I'm excited. Out. I think you're going to do great, for real. Yeah. Don't Just let don't fuck it up. Yeah, no, actually don't fuck it up, though, because he's really important. And you have to say, yo, everything that we say, you have to translate. Oh, my God. Okay, before, before he comes in, do you think his energy is going to be high or low? Low. You think low? Yeah. I'll say hi. I think, I think he, high, dude. I think he carries say himself high. a bit cocky. He's going to come here with a big smile on his face. Yes. No. You, you we your, Brazilians, we always bet. happy and shit, man. Let's bet, thousand right? that you owe me. Okay. Oh. So you owe me two thousand. God damn it! If dude. he comes in here kind of like chill, like yo, what's up? Then you owe me two thousand. Who's the judge? I'll be the judge. <laughs> Celine well, the judge? I'm well, he just I'll, he just woke I'll up be though. Like, Austin will be Austin the judge. Will be the judge. And nah, 500, 500. No, five hundred, five hundred. No, bro, you owe me a thousand. I know I lose fifteen hundred. I don't want to lose a fucking two thousand. Okay, fine, fifteen hundred. So no, not fifteen hundred. It's five hundred. Sure, sure, I get, it, I get, it, I get it. So okay. five hundred off. So the baby, he this dumb fuck bet me that the yeah, baby, the yeah. baby wouldn't walk yeah. in the room with that the was, chain on. That was the dumbest bet so I made. Dude, I have no yeah, chain, bro. Dumbest fucking bet. That man. was the dumbest Mr. bet. Mr. Genius, I'm, I'm the fucking baby's not wearing a chain. Man. Yeah, but you like, two of the well, Kyle babies. got my fucking head, dude. Kyle got my head. He's like, yeah, maybe he was like, you know, a little more humble. And it's like not gonna yeah, show up like that. Say? I don't know what I was. You thinking. did. You got my fucking head. I don't know what I was thinking, bro. Dude, you got my head. I fucked up. You did. That's kind of like you half that debt actually. Nah. Hey, don't get. You would try just wait. Hey, wait till Mr. we have to give away that money for Mr. Beast. Don't oh, think we forgot about that. that. Don't think we forgot oh, about that's that. So painful. Yeah. yeah yes, no, I don't want to talk about that. $100,000. I don't want to talk about that. I thought we'd never I, I speak only had that a thousand in there. <laughs> I thought we would never speak. Uh, he hit us up. He said, yo, I'm waiting to see the money, bro. Dude, well, that's I think you fucking quoted, funny. You quoted 20, didn't you? <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. It's a good it. video. <sighs> you got yeah, a video out of it. Yeah, I just don't want to talk about it. Yeah, I don't want to talk about it. A write-off. You're going to be the judge, though, Austin. Okay, so what's what's the bet? Just he, he walks in with a smile on his face. Like no, when he like these people, he like smiles. Like cheesing though with teeth and shit. Just if he's got a smile on his face. If he walks in like, then whatever. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. I think Oliveira's like locked in. Like this is my shit. He's putting on his persona. I don't know, man. I feel. I like... read people. You don't. Oh, okay. <clears throat> okay. I'm actually excited for this outcome now, yeah. just because you well, said. I'd that. like to get paid at one point. Pay huh? your debts, bro. I'm serious. I one thing I was always taught was always. I think pay you your owe debts. me money too, <laughs> buddy. You slip out of bets too. Yeah, you do. What? I'm sorry. You haven't even paid your golf. <laughs> yeah, I like he does, that. He does. I like that. I don't slip out. Steiny, you sleep in Brad's house for free. You he doesn't charge a single place. penny. That's called a friend saying, hey, can I crash your house one night? No. You know? He work out you sleep with Remember free. one time in Vegas? I remember we yeah, played. I we made a bet. You teed off. You fucking hit a yard. Like out. <laughs> I piped it down the fairway and you're like, we never bet. We never agreed. Oh. And we fully already this. started. Like, he's that guy. He oh, whines dude. too. He makes this you feel bad so for him. I'm gonna, how much was he makes that? How much did he owe like you? Five hundred. Pay, I'll pay you the other five hundred if I if I win this bet. Well, okay. Because sure. you when we when we yeah. play golf, it's Send like me. there's new rules every single time. Well, Steiny doesn't know how to play golf yet. I yeah, guess. no, he doesn't I, know the we rules. We play really. It, we play scramble, right? And all of a sudden, there's just these new rules. There's the it's burning bush. Have you ever heard the story of the burning bush? It's in the Bible. Yeah, of course. When he like I've spoke to the bush, Kyle's balls lodged, but under a branch, bro, like six inches under a branch. Unhittable, unplayable. Like if the rules came out, PGA would be like, "Yo, that's a drop." Somehow, that sounds like, excuses. When you win over and over and over again, no matter who's his partner, you got to make some excuses. This guy's got to pull out Moses as an yeah. excuse. Like, that's what you know. Like, bush. Right, bro, like, who like, the fuck are you? Yeah, you must. When, you, when you're bringing up the Old oh, Testament and you're losing yeah, in yeah, golf, then you got to issue. Okay, fuck. That was funny. You start reading up the Ten Commandments or some shit. That was funny. That was actually funny. 
anyway, guy brings up the Old Testament to justify his golf losses. <laughs> the burning bush moved his ball like two feet, and he has a perfect shot. It was just there's just questionable shit. I don't You'd know, have to man. be there. I, 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 I don't, I'm not we a should golfer. get you on the course. Maybe. I'm not a golfer. You'd be breaking clubs and shit for sure, though. I, I feel like I get frustrated with golfing. Oh, hundred percent. You'd quit. Yeah. I don't think you'd finish the round. Yeah, I don't think that's for me. I don't yeah. even. Yeah, I'll try it though. So what's going on with you? You gonna get? Hey, Brad, are you gonna get married soon or? What the fuck is this? Shit? Well, I know you, you want, we, you want to have a kid. Bro. What is this shit? What's wrong with that? I see you driving, dude. I did see you dropping your kid off at school. I don't it's know why. It's not world gear, right? So you, you want that because you want like the high school chicks to be like, yeah, that's a deal. for a kid. What oh, the yes. fuck are you talking about, dude? You, Jacob <laughs> was telling me you, you were talking about, about that the it other day. It would be easier to wheel with the kid, though. Why do you think it would be easier to wheel? Yeah, you would why wheel not? with it. You'd use yeah. a kid to wheel. How? You, if you're a good father and shit, girls love that. Yeah. Yeah, well, they like don't want to take care of a baby. What's your expectation? Jacob like, you want like a smart seater? kid, or you just want a gym, bro? Think about my child. Like, yeah, what my like, gonna be do you want to? Do you want like a smart, like academic, like a scholar, or do you just want a gym, bro, that you I can mean, fucking lift with? He'll I be mean, in the gym at like a fucking one years old in the gym already, right? I want my kid to want to be into it. You know what I'm saying? Like, obviously, I can't. How make disappointed would he be if he was like, "Dad, fuck the gym. It's not me." I mean, as long as he has something else he's passionate about. Really? Yeah. See, you're gonna be a good father, bro. Food. Yeah, like, what am I supposed to be like? You need to do this. Okay, but what if it? what if he's overweight? Then well, you. I don't think like I mean <laughs> you're like nah. <laughs> no, it's not that like he, I'd, he, he's like, not gonna be it. It's, I don't think it's, 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 it's the environment because yeah, exactly right. So you know it's what like, mean, like kind of if I'm cooking, so articulate. if I'm cooking, and, I mean food I've properly. seen your girl like no chance that kid's gonna be overweight. What's that? Nothing. What'd you say? I said I said I've seen your girl. He's not gonna be overweight. That's a compliment. Oh, thank you. Yeah, appreciate yeah. you. But it's more about the environment, like he said. Is like if the kid is you know. Ex- constantly exposed to that kind of stuff, then yeah, yeah, it, yeah, it is what it is. You develop those habits really young. So, the fucking my goal doctor like, asked my mom, like, "Hey, did your kid like? <laughs> does Gabriel have a fucking checkbook or something? He's fucking ten years old and he's fucking eating whatever he wants. Yeah. That's what happened. Yeah, you know if your mean? parents, like, yeah, I don't know. They let it happen. Checkbook. Yeah, she's like, yeah, like it was like money. money. She's like, uh, does look like he had a fucking credit card or something? Because you must have had a little bankroll if you were eating like that at that young. So it's just expensive. I just didn't name my dad. It was kind of like chubby too. Okay. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Bet, awesome. Dude. Charles right. in the house. I want to bet. So first and foremost, I want to bet. Just you can do a post with him now. I thought you were going to walk in like pissed off. I don't know why. Tired. He said what you thought that you would enter. Very bem stressed. Because of the weight cut. Because of the weight cut. Because of the weight cut. That you have to cut the weight. Yes. You thought you were very tired. Nada, nunca vou estar estressado. Você me está feliz, você me trabalha. He say he he will never be like that because that's his job. Does it? So he never be like that. Awesome. Islam came in here really like mellow and tired. He seemed almost kind of tired. I don't know if he was tired, but. Que Islam quando veio fazer podcast com a gente, ele chegou bem cansado, bem para baixo, bem neutro. Você já chegou com com outra vibe? É, que eu falei, né? Eu tenho outra vibe, é outro é outro time, né? Yes, yeah, like I said, it's like it's a, it's a different thing. It's my job. This is different for us. I'm sorry. Yeah. 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 Yes, this is our first pod with a translator. É yeah. a primeira vez que a gente tá fazendo um podcast que porque eu trabalho com eles, então a gente tá primeira primeira vez fazendo esse tipo de tipo de de, de podcast. Pô, não, prazer exato estar aqui com vocês. Says a pleasure to be with you guys. Primeiro, como você falou, o primeiro, então pô, vamos embora. Says the first, so let's go. Let's go. Damn. What you got, Steiny? Uh, go ahead, go, go back. Okay. So, um, <laughs> I guess I guess first and foremost, um, <laughs> Gabe's like fuck first and foremost. Yeah. No, yeah, no, that's, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. You got it? Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> you got you got me fucked up right now. This is so funny. Pelo primeiro mate, que estão fazendo um monte de piada comigo também, porque é tudo interno. Sorry, sorry. Too many jokes earlier. Um, muito muito piada a gente teve. Preparing for the fight. What was the hardest part of your preparation? Qual foi a parte mais difícil da preparação para a luta? Acho que na realidade a parte mais difícil é sempre o corte de peso. I think in the reality, the hardest part is like the weight cut. Like, yeah, the hardest part is the weight cut. But he's so he's so chill, right? But he's so good. Oh, he's talking about you. You're very tranquil. You're very good. You're so easy. No, it's like I said. This is my job. I don't have to come here and be sad or be happy. I have to be happy. That's for real. That's my job. That's all I have to do. That's my job. So I need to come here to be happy. That's that's for real. That's my job. Damn. It's like it's like it's like, it's like a common theme between all the fighters is like it's like they're coming here and they're just doing a job but what what else does it mean to him personally ele falou que é muito normal para todo para todos os lutadores vir aqui que que é o seu trabalho não sei o que mas além disso o que mais importa para você o que é mais importante o legado que eu quero deixar 
sabe? Conhecer pessoas legais, viver coisas legais, fazer coisas legais. Esse, esse é real. Ele está dizendo que é o legacy que ele quer colocar. Ele quer fazer boas coisas, ele quer colocar boas pessoas. Então é tudo sobre o legado. Eu diria que o Islã é realmente underestimating him. Does he, does he think that Islam is, is underestimating him? If you think Islam is underestimating him, what do you think about that? I think everyone has to think about what they want. He's thinking about it, and we'll see in 22. He's saying that like, everybody thinks what they want to think about it, so we will see on the 22nd what happens. Um, and then, what does he, how does he feel about what Khabib has said recently about riding like a horse, like he's got no ground game? Can you say that one more time? Sorry. What is he, how does he feel about Khabib saying he's going to roll him over and that he has zero ground game? What do you think Khabib said about Khabib saying that he's going to roll him over? What are you going to do again? Just say, what does he feel about Khabib? He's going to ride him like a, like a horse. Okay, Khabib. That's what he said. Khabib. How are you going to fucking do that? You're doing great, Khabib. Keep going, Gabe. Keep going. Khabib said that Khabib is going to... It's important to me. It's not sense. Khabib said that Khabib is going to... He's going to do another thing. He's going to do another thing. He's going to do another thing. Trabalhar bastante como fosse um, um cavalo. Por like he's gonna have a really hard time yeah, você, você, with the wrestling. Você vai ter, um, você vai ter uma, uma, um, vai, vai ser muito complicada a luta para você com ele. Ele falou. A, a equipe dele tá falando várias coisas, várias besteiras, né? Essa é real. Estão querendo fazer que, para mim, o Isan tá surfando na onda que não é dele. A equipe dele tá falando grandes coisas, bastante besteira. E dia 22 a gente vai ver quem é quem. Essa é real. He's saying that his team is talking a lot of bullshit. And stuff. They saying they like they surfing in in different he, waves and stuff. No, I, but like I the real know. thing is gonna happen on the fight on the on on, on the twenty second. That's the that's the, the real deal. Yeah. So hold on. His, his team. He came in here and his his team said that his team uh, fought two of your guys on your team and it was like easy. Ele and falou, that's why they think it's he's gonna be easy. Que na, que na, que na equipe dele tiveram tiveram dois lutadores que lutaram com o pessoal da equipe que é da mesma equipe de vocês e eles ganharam. Por isso que ele tá falando que agora que vai ser mais fácil também com você. Isso para você faz sentido em algum? Porque ficou, como eles ficaram com dois, a ganta dois, agora vai ser a, 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 a terceira luta. Isso faz acho sentido para você? você acha acho, que vai... que, acho que na realidade lutas são lutas. Né? Pessoas são pessoas. Né? Você, você imagina o seguinte, se minha equipe ganhasse 30 vezes de, um, de, um, de uma equipe, aí, pô, a próxima luta seria muito mais fácil para nós. Isso não existe. Esses caras estão querendo falar bastante besteira para que ver se eles entram na minha cabeça, mas isso não vai acontecer. I just think that like they go person per person. Every fight is, a, is, a, is, a, is every fight. They can say whatever they want, but like in his mind, that's not gonna happen. How, how do you see the fight? What's his prediction for how the fight ends? Como é que você acha que vai que vai ser a luta? Que você acha que vai? Vou knock out him no primeiro round. He said he's gonna knock out him in the first round. Oh, I love it. Full thing that I love. That's what I love. Oh yeah. Muito bom. Like zero question. Não uma pergunta. Vou no coach esse cara, esse é real. He gonna knock. The real. Does, does any part of him out. wanna t submit Islam just as a statement? Submit. Yeah, just terms of tap, out. tap out. Okay. Um, say it one more time. The first question. You can use the does, word submit. Does, yeah, yeah. Does any part of him wanna make Islam tap just to make a statement? Você 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 quer fazer o, o, o Islam fazer um tap no primeiro round só para poder calar a boca dele pelo menos? Acho que na realidade só quero vencer. Essa é real. Isso é mais importante é vencer. Mas eu vou no coach esse cara, meu round. I think the 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 main thing is just to win, but I'm gonna knock him out in the first round. Oh shit! He's pretty confident. <laughs> what what happens next after a win over Islam? O que que vem depois para você depois de uma depois de uma vitória com Islam? Com certeza vencendo o Islam a gente vai pensar no FC Rio, né? Que vai ser em Janeiro. Então acho que isso é o time. Vencer vencer aqui para poder lutar no Rio. I think after winning with Islam, I think it's to think about uh, UFC Rio that's in January. So it's just like wanna win and just thinking and, and get ready for January. Ask him, does he think that Islam's the best opponent he's ever faced? Ele perguntando se se o Elon é um é um oponente é um dos melhores oponentes que que você já enfrentou. Ele é um cara duríssimo, mas não é mais do que eu já alguns outros caras que eu já lutei. Essa é real merece todo o respeito do mundo por estar onde está, mas não é um dos melhores. I think he's like he's a really strong guy. He deserves everything he 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 needs to be where he's at, but he's just another guy. Ask him if he's done anything differently this prep. Gabe's killing any it. Any of his other preps. He is doing a really good job. Sorry, right I'm right. just really nervous. I'm shaking. No, you're doing great, dude. Ask him if he's done every, anything different this prep. Like, did he focus on anything specifically for Islam that he wouldn't in another prep? Para essa preparação para essa luta, como como está sendo para Islam? Você fez alguma coisa diferente por por ser ele ou não? A gente não se preocupa com aquilo que um cara pode trazer para nós e sim com aquilo que a gente possa pode levar. Isso é mais importante. 
he's saying that he doesn't worry about what the guy, what the like the fighter can bring into him, but what he can provide to the fight, what he can bring to the fight. On on like so, him. So he doesn't prepare a specific game plan based on the guy. Então você não se prepara para luta dependendo do seu oponente? Não, você, você 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 vai se preparar para uma luta. Mas eu gosto de me preparar eu, não pensar naquilo que meu adversário vai trazer, e sim oh, aquilo que a gente pode levar. Yeah, he's saying like he, he gonna yeah he gonna focus on himself. He he thinks like he he definitely prepares, but like he gonna see what he gonna brings on it, what he gonna do it. No, most likely on the on the guy. Does he think that his his grapple game is underrated? His what? Grapple game. His, his wrestling. His wrestling. Charles wrestling. Okay, wrestling. okay. 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 what's the question? Charles wrestling underrated. Você acha que o que o a a luta do Charles do do Islam do Islam ela tá what the hell is life? Tá, um, Do people think it's less than? Ela tá menor que a sua? Ela tá diferenciada? Ela tá fraca? Só não tô de MMA. Só não tô de MMA. Só não tô completo. Tanto em pé quanto no chão, né? Então, só não tô de MMA. Eu não ligo porque o quiz não é ou deixa de ser. Né? O que, que ele faz, deixa de fazer. Eu só não tô de MMA completo. Em todas as áreas eu tô 100% pronto. He's saying that he's a MMA fighter. Doesn't matter if it's on the ground, on like, on feet. He's always ready. Whatever his line has it, he doesn't care. Like he's he's ready for whatever whatever comes his way. Uh, Gabe, you want to ask him? Uh, does he is he gonna like is he gonna start off by trying to pressure Islam like starting of the fight? Like how how does he uh, how's he gonna approach the fight as soon as it starts? Tá perguntando como é que você vai aproximar a luta do, no começo? Você vai pressionar o Islam? Como é qual que é a sua qual que é a sua jogada no Vai começo? Eu sou um caçador, eu só ando para frente. Eu vou andar pra frente o tempo inteiro, vou procurar luta o tempo inteiro. He say he's always gonna look for the fight. He's like he's a fighter and then uh he's um what the fuck. He's um he he's there to like to get the job done. So he's gonna look for it and just go for it. To ask me how aggressive he has to be early because he's worried about getting having Islam put him on the ground. How aggressive what? Like like is he worried? Yeah, no, just say it, just say it one time. How aggressive does he have to be right away so Islam doesn't get him on the ground? Quanto, qual, como é que você tem que ser agressivo no começo para que o Islã não te possa, não te possa botar no chão uh, like, no começo da luta? Eu só tenho que ser o Charles sempre. Essa é a real. I just need to be Charles. Yeah. That's the real. Like, I just need to be me. Damn. Ask him why people underestimate him with how fucking beating Poirier. Who else he beat recently? Poirier. Well, Gaethje. And, Gaethje. Uh, and, and Chandler. those three. What's Poirier. the fighting style, though? Yeah, That's but why. still, why they why they underestimate him? him? Yeah, after your last three big wins. Because Sasha kills people when all after all his wins over big people. Yeah, yeah. Underestimate you know. after all the wins? After yeah, after all his big wins. Okay. Wins. Why are people underestimating him? Okay. Por que que depois de todas as suas três três que as três lutas que você ganhou, porque as pessoas ainda continuam falando e subestimando você vai ainda em algumas coisas? O que você acha? Por que eles fazem isso? Se Deus foi dando agrado a todo mundo, por que eu vou agradar? He said yeah. that like God didn't satisfy everybody. Why are you gonna do it? Huh. Ah. Oh shit! That's a good answer. God did. Oh shit! <laughs> Tell him that shirt's fucking hard. If you're looking at the camisa, it's really nice. Yeah, it's pretty hard. Pretty hard. Ask him. Ask him what he plans to do after he gets a dub, after he gets a win. Yeah, how does he celebrate a win? Como é que você celebra a sua a sua a sua sua vitória? Se você ganhou. Com a minha família, com meu com meu time todo que está aqui. Tem gente que é muito importante. Está todo mundo junto. With my um, family, with my team, we are together here. That's what's important. Tell him that um, you're from Brazil and it's your dream to celebrate with him after the win. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Tell, tell him. Tell him. What, just tell straight him. out like that? Just yeah, tell him. Oh, you? No, from you. You. That it's, it's Hey, I'm, I'm him, also from him. Brazil and it's my dream to celebrate with you after you win. You have to say it. You're you're say it. We'll translate the that. Yeah. I'm from Brazil and I would love you. You have to say it. Like, okay. Because I'm from Brazil and I would love you. Eu tô, tô sempre pra você e eu adoraria poder compartilhar essa vitória com você e tamo aí. Com certeza, será um prazer. Tamo feliz de poder ser brasileiro. Independente de ser brasileiro ou não, pode fechar com nós. He said, it doesn't, doesn't matter if you're Brazilian or not, you're always welcome and let's go. Oh, oh yeah, that's what's up. Baby, ask um, if, if he wins decisively against Islam, like he says he's going to knock him out, does he think that Khabib should come back? Você acha, você acha que se você ganhar, realmente o jeito que você tá falando, como você vai na Cratia, Willan, você acha que o Khabib deve, vo deve, deve voltar a lutar? Não, não sei, eu não posso falar sobre por ele, né? Essa é real. Tá aposentado, merece todo o respeito do mundo, mas não posso falar por ele. Mas se quiser voltar também, não tem problema nenhum. He say like he cannot talk about him, like sorry. He say he cannot speak 
for him because he's already retired. But if he comes back, there's no problem. Once he beats Islam, uh, is he going to call out Khabib in the octagon? Or who is he going to call? Yeah, who like is Khabib a, a name that he's going to call next. out? Yeah, yeah, after he beats Islam. Yeah. Okay, tipo, então não se você ganhar essa luta, qual vai ser a próxima pessoa que você vai chamar para lutar? Se você chama chamaria o Khabib, quem seria o seu oponente que você tá Eu acho, eu acho que eu acho que na realidade é tudo a se pensar, né? Vencer o Islam agora, com certeza lutar no Brasil, né, em janeiro, e aí a gente tem que pensar. Tudo depende de que se volta, se não volta, se vai, o que vai fazer, essa é real. I think it's all about like I got to think about it. I got to think right now about winning this fight, this fight. I know he's going to be on the on the fight in January. But what I gotta do right now is about think. It's just about think. What's the was was the next nice. after the fight? Soldier. Yep. Tell him yeah. he's we're really good? fucking yeah. focused. Good, right? Yeah. Tell yes. Him awesome. Gabe, tell him thank you so much and fucking we're soldier. Yeah. No more questions. That's it. Yeah. That's it. All right. Tell good him. luck and we appreciate it. Yeah. Muito obrigado pela participação. Right, obrigado por tudo. Yeah, yeah, man, dude. Yeah. Thank you thank so you much, much bro. Fucking awesome, man. Thank you so much. Thank you. 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 Bro, I know. Boy, you sold me 500. He's fucking cool, bro. He's fucking cool. All right, what a pod. Two guys in the main event. Both guys and full. Pretty cool MMA that fight, was man. That's fucking fun, sick. Man. That was Tired, but that was the most fun. Live from Abu Dhabi. Let's go. I think uh, we'll see who's up next. Maybe Tate. Hopefully oh, wait. Tate. What's the picks? We got Sugar. Yep, Sugar. I don't know now. I'm taking Charles after that. He's I too took fucking Charles cool. is. He, They're both dialed. I know. Yeah. Comment, boys. Who do you got? I want to. I want to yeah. see the picks, man. Comment. These guys are fucking soldiers. It's gonna be a great fight. Soldiers. It's gonna be a great fight. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. See you guys next week, dude. It's so, you gotta love the guy. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's like you gotta love the guy. So